So we're going to record just this first section here. Obviously, once we go into breakout rooms, we won't record, but we're going to record all of the uh, the, the uh, firm profiles at the beginning here. So welcome everyone to uh, this uh, monthly meeting of ABIPSA Boston, and this is our ABIPSA Boston virtual career fair. This is the first time we've tried this. Uh, hopefully it's going to go well. Um, and I appreciate everybody uh, signing up and participating and uh, hopefully approaching this with the spirit of uh, adventure and, and all working together as, as this goes, because it's we're, we're going to Know, kind of inventing this on the fly a little bit. Uh, I, I want to uh, highlight as well the, the folks from Abyss of Boston who have been uh, helping organize all of this. So uh, Shide and Giuseppe and Eric um, are all part of the, the core Abyss of Boston team. Um, and we are definitely looking for other people to help with that. So if you are interested in participating in Abyss of Boston, um, we are uh, always on the lookout and you can email us and you can do that at uh, abipsa boston abipsa.boston at gmail.com uh, and let us know that you're interested in participating. We do have some other events coming up uh, in the near future. In June, we're gonna have um, some folks from JE Plus talking about uh, their software. And we're also looking in the fall to do some uh, building case studies. So if you've got a project that you'd like to see highlighted, uh, please submit your ideas to us at abipsa.boston at gmail.com. Uh, and uh, you can also become a member of Abipsa USA up there in the right-hand corner. If you're not already, you probably all should be. And uh, also get on the Abipsa Boston mailing list. And how do they get on the mailing list? Uh, does somebody know how that works? Do we just put them on based on they signed up today? Yeah, we could do that. Okay. So uh, a, a, a lot going on here, but the way this is going to work, uh, we're going to start with uh, participating companies giving intros, uh, two minutes each. So the ones on the left on my list here have sent in slides, and we'll run through those first. And then any others who didn't send in slides who are here on the call, we'll give them a chance. And the idea is that we're going to spend about two minutes max here on this. Uh, and uh, some of you uh, are good at following instructions and sent me three slides or less. A couple of you sent me uh, 15 slides. So I did edit those down a little bit and hopefully you'll be able to make do. Um, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll go through those. Um, so if folks are ready to start that, when uh, your, your turn comes up, take yourself off mute and uh, we'll give you a few minutes to talk about this. I'll move the slides along. So if you need them uh, advanced, let me know. Uh, and it, we're gonna go in the order that's shown on the left. Uh, for all the slides that are uh, uh, that were submitted, uh, we got a last minute entry from Payette, so they're also on that list, and they'll go uh, towards the end of, of that list. All right, so Eric, I think you're going to be up first. Uh oh, well, I'm going to run home and set a timer to be good. So, got a lot of friends here. Anyway, a little bit about Transolar for those that don't uh, know us. You can go to the next slide. This is just our cover slide. Is it going? There we go. So we call, oh, go back. We call ourselves climate engineers. We're uh, uh, originally a German company. I like to call us an international company with German roots uh, with our original office in Stuttgart. We have an office in Munich and then I'm leading the team here in New York. And we're always looking for people to join, to join the team here in New York. Uh, we really focus on this kind of high performance design on all kinds of projects all around the world and try to put together this sort of just greatest hits, getting an idea that it's projects that are seen as big and fancy, um, but also very small, completely passive, very modest projects and a little bit of everything in between. Um, the, what they really share is the kind of commonality and approach and attitude. If you go to the next slide which is really about this, uh, it's just a huge, huge lack. Um, idea of not applying gadgets, but very integrated design from the beginning. And we are really fortunate that the architects and teams we work with very much believe in that. And that's kind of on every project. We go to the next slide, 30 seconds left. So really our practice is about supporting projects that need innovation. We only work on projects that know they want to do something new and different 
uh, simulation for us is not the service that we sell. It's a tool that supports our practice in helping people support innovation in at least one of these areas, access to light and air, site-specific dynamic environments, comprehensive design, really challenging the nature of mechanical systems and high performance and harmony with inspiring architecture. We think it's super exciting. That's my two minutes. Chris, you are muted. Uh, Chris. Uh, yeah, so Eric, that was great. And if somebody wanted to apply to TransSolar, how would they do that? He's frozen. There, there he is. Eric, did you hear my question? I did not. If someone wanted to apply to TransSolar, what would be their next step? They can email jobs at transsolar.com. Perfect. Thanks. Also look at our website. Yeah. Okay. Next up would be affiliated engineers. Hi, this is Noah. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm Noah Clammer. I'm a building performance consultant with Affiliated Engineers. And just to talk a little bit about the firm, um, Affiliated is really a, a national US firm. Uh, we do MEP services across the spectrum. Um, and as far as this crowd, this sort of building performance simulation crowd, we have uh, quite a wide array of building performance um, services and interesting projects that we get to work on. Um, our main markets are healthcare, higher ed, and uh, science and technology. So we work on a lot of really large, interesting, um, almost, almost district or plant scale mechanical systems and buildings. Um, can you go next slide, please? Um, right, so I think one of the, um, just to sort of point out one of the interesting points about affiliated engineers is um, we have quite a, quite a few markets that we work in and we provide quite, quite a few services. So as a, someone who's part of a BIPSA and is interested in building performance simulation, I think working inside of affiliated engineers, you're going to get a lot of exposure to um, the, the whole life cycle of projects from design and conception all the way through construction administration, um, you know, you get to do like post occupancy models and things like that. So, oh, am I still on? Yes. Yep. So anyway, that's affiliated engineers. Um, and we are definitely hiring for multiple offices, San Francisco, Seattle, Madison, uh, DC area to name a few and um, they can contact me at nclammer at aeieng.com or also you can go to the careers page on AEI's website. Great, thanks. Uh, next up we have the NB Energy folks. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Um, this is Gabriel. We're sustainability consultants for NV Energy Studio. Um, you can go to the next slide. We are a certified women's owned business, um, and we are a sustainable design consulting firm. We do both energy modeling as mostly in eQuest, and uh, we also do uh, documentation for LEED and other services that are listed here. Um, and we are hiring for um, more consultants. We are a startup, um, so a little bit smarter, uh, smarter, a little bit smaller. Um, and we're in, uh, we're located in downtown Boston. Um, you can go to the next slide. And these are just an example of some of our clients. Um, we work both in the public and private sector. Um, usually we're mo working mostly with uh, architects and um, uh, developers, and you can go to the next slide. We mostly focus on new construction. A lot of what we're doing, especially right now, um, are lab and office spaces, um, but we also work in higher education. Um, and am I missing anything? 
Uh, maybe a few residential projects in yeah. the mix as well, but like Elizabeth mentioned, uh, right now, uh, mostly uh, commercial and life science work. Yeah, and um, I'll put the email address in the chat um, for folks who are interested in applying, um, as well as our website. Um, that might be a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah, that's great. It. Thanks. Uh, Next up is IES. Hi there. Hi, Lauren is here. Okay, hi, Lauren. Hi, yes, hi, it's Lauren. Um, I'm the HR Director for Integrated Environmental Solutions. Um, I'm not local to Boston. I'm based in Scotland, which is where IES are headquartered. However, we have a very established presence in North America. Um, we, have, we have many building performance engineers working for us. Um, in the States um, and thousands of users of our VE software across the globe. Um, buildings account for almost 40% of global carbon emissions and our mission at IES is to develop digital twin technology to make buildings more energy efficient. Um, what we do is exciting, clever, cutting edge and it's good for the planet. Um, working for IES, you will have the chance to work with leading experts in the field of building simulation. Um, there's the opportunity, opportunity to work on high profile projects and receive training in our technology. Um, we also offer some generous benefits, including 20 days vacation, um, medical insurance um, and 401k. Um, yes, that the slide there lists some of the vacancies we currently have. Um, Resumes can be sent to careers at IESBE.com or you can check out our website and click on the careers link. Um, or we might speak to some people in the breakout rooms if there are some non employers here <laughs> today. Um, thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Lorna. Uh, next is JLL, Luis. Hello, everyone. My name is Luis Lara and I'm a senior project manager at JLL and I specialize in energy modeling for net zero design. Can we go to the next slide? JLL is a real estate management, investment, brokerage, and development firm. We operate in projects all around the world. We help our clients through the complete real estate life cycle, and we strive to be a one-stop shop for all services related to buildings that our clients need. Can we go to the next slide? Um, our clients are investors, such as real estate investment trusts that might hold thousands of assets, and also occupiers, which include all types of customers who use real estate to conduct their business. Can we go to the next slide? We are a big global team with almost 100,000 employees in around 80 countries. However, if we go to the next slide, Sustainability is at the core of every branch of our business. We achieve a sustainable world through net zero buildings for our own internal JLL operations and also the operations of our clients. We understand that building performance analysis is critical in the quest to decarbonize the built environment. This is where everyone here fits through IBIPSA. Uh, we're growing and we expect to grow our sustainability group five times by 2025. So we foresee an increasing demand for net zero buildings globally. And we have the team to make that possible. If you are interested, please check our early career sites. Um, go to my breakout room or reach out to me on LinkedIn. Thank you. Excellent. And now we have JB and B. Can you hear me? Yes. Thanks, Brian. Hi, thank you. Okay, so my name is Brian McKinney. I'm here representing the Deep Carbon Group at JBMB. Um, the Deep Carbon team is a team that is roughly three years old um, and that focuses on building energy performance and implementation of energy solutions to larger uh, building projects. So, um, first, about the larger firm that we're part of, JBMB is a firm that started as an MEP firm based in New York. Um, it's over 100 years old and has more recently expanded into a range of other trades, including the deep carbon reduction team, as well as two different locations. So 
It, in addition to New York, also has rapidly growing offices in Boston and Philadelphia. Um, and within that larger, oh, and we have a range of uh, projects. Um, the ones you've probably heard the most of are probably the World Trade Center complex, as well as Hudson Yards. So we work on a lot of high profile buildings and have a lot of expertise within the larger building industry. Now, if you go to the next slide, um, the Deep Carbon team specifically was built around the challenge of the uh, global warming uh, CO2 emissions crisis that we face um, in the current era. And so we have an emphasis on both energy modeling and implementation of modeling solutions. The team is split roughly in half between people who are trying to develop designs to um, work out uh, solutions to the sorts of problems that we're looking at. Um, and about half um, doing like direct modeling of uh, buildings for whether it's design support or just any number of other things you can be looking for. But we were built around the philosophy that we want energy modeling to be a key tool in terms of how you design your building and how you implement solutions. And so that's what we're here for. We're trying to make a difference a little bit every day. And if you're interested in that, then I hope you'll come and talk with me. Thank you. And next is Cove Tool. I um, apologize in advance, Patrick. We, um, uh, I made these a PDF, so your animation no worries. went away. No worries. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Patrick Pease. I'm the Mechanical Engineering Director at Cove Tool. Uh, Cove Tool is an Atlanta based startup. Uh, and if you go to the next slide, we're kind of most known for our analysis tool, which is really all about kind of early stage analysis for energy, carbon, daylight, pretty much anything we'd want to, to look at. How can we, you know, uh, analyze all of that on the online platform? Uh, and we have kind of the way we build this is we have a research team, and that's really our, our product team. And that's a, you know, series of engineers, building scientists, and architects that really kind of build out these tools and then support them for our users. Uh, if you go to the next slide. And then kind of the growth of, of what we're doing is we're really building out a whole new kind of platform for load and energy modeling based on Energy Plus. Uh, and so we're really growing the team to you know support that both you know through education, through product development uh, from the startup side. Uh, so if you are interested, you know definitely you know, meet me in the meetout room or uh, check out our webpage, uh, our careers page for information on, you know, open roles we have, you know, throughout the, throughout the firm. Great. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. Uh, next is SGH. Hi, thanks, Chris. Um, so my name is Abigail Sefa. I work at Simpson Gumperts and Hager. Or SGH. Go to the next. We are a national engineering firm that solves really complex challenges in the building and construction industries. We currently have about 600 employees, including 500 technical staff. Next slide. And we're spread out at 10 offices around the country. The biggest is in Waltham outside of Boston. And I work in our downtown Boston office. Next slide, please. We have several different subgroups within SGH. So I'll just run through those quickly. Next slide. We have a structural engineering practice. Next slide, please. Yeah, sorry, I cut out the ones in between that showed all the pictures. Oh, okay, um, that's fine. So I'll just, if you could go back, I'll just uh, mention a couple of different sub areas within the structures group. We have design, repair and rehab. Um, that's for typical structural engineering, complex problem solving. Next slide. We also have a building enclosure group which is what I'm a part of. We focus on building enclosures, and, uh, engineering and consulting. And we have within that is a building science group, which is what I specialize in. We do a lot of building performance modeling to inform our enclosure consulting practice. But we also have other areas like preservation technology and new design consulting. Next slide. We have a an advanced analysis group that does infrastructure, heavy civil, nuclear, nuclear facility design, things like that. Next slide. And we also have a lab in our Waltham office, which has been a really great opportunity to get hands-on. We do 
samples testing to inform all of these different practice group practice areas. Next slide. We're currently hiring at all different levels. And if you could just go to the next slide. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's why I got deleted. But if you could go to our website, we have all of the careers that we're hiring for. We're hiring at all different levels. So if solving really complex problems sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and check out our website. Thank you. I, I'm sorry, Abigail, it sounds like I cut <laughs> the wrong slide. No, that's that's fine. This is a good slide too. <laughs> okay, next is uh, data based. Yes, database plus Joseph Claire, the principal in charge of the database plus studio within the design firm DBHMS. Um, we're a mid midsize uh, engineering firm founded about 20 years ago. Um, and we have offices across the country, including in Boston, but also Philadelphia, Chicago and San Antonio. Uh, the next slide, please. Um, our goal is to uh, is to really be impactful through our engineering decisions. Um, and so we have both a design studio, but also a commissioning and testing studio. And then the, our uh, building performance analysis studio database plus that I head up. Next slide. Um, and our goal is to is threefold in serving clients. We help clients uh, achieve the vision that they're looking for in a project. Um, within that vision, we then optimize systems and then look to compliance and accountability. We really think that down the road performance and long-term um, compliance is a really important piece, not just designing projects to be high-performing, but actually delivering on those projects. Next. Um, we do this through two key mantras for us, research-driven, obviously with tools and data research, um, and building science research. And then the next piece is even more important. Next slide. Um, and that's human-centered. All of our analyses focus on the human outcomes, um, whether it's people within the building, but also people outside the building who are affected um, by the designs and energy use and the like. Um, so that's really one of the things that's rooted in our practice. Next slide. Um, we are a Better Buildings partner and ally with, uh, with the Department of Energy. Um, committing that 15% of our building designs in 2024 will be zero energy, and that starting this year, every project will go through zero energy analysis. So we have a heavy use for our teams. Um, and just some example of projects that we can also talk about in the breakouts, um, but we've worked, uh, next slide, um, we worked on a lot of zero energy and zero campus projects um, between NASA and multifamily affordable housing and school education. And then next slide, some of our key projects, uh, one of them, the Keller Center, was an AIA top 10 award winner previously. And we also really work a lot in adaptive reuse. And the, the powerhouse project you see in the upper right is an adaptive reuse of a powerhouse in, uh, in Beloit, Wisconsin. Um, and I'll drop my information into the chat. But uh, careers at dbhms.com forward slash careers. And look forward to seeing you in the breakouts. Excellent. Thanks. And next is SGA. Is that you, Giuseppe? Thank you, so. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm Giuseppe Arbita, a sustainability leader at SGA. And um, I hold them in a PhD in building sustainability. And three years ago, when I joined SGA, we founded them in the building science department that currently lead. Um, we are, I mean, located in Boston and uh, in New York. And uh, our main, I mean, uh, uh, for business is a life science building, I read, I, I read an office building. Uh, we have been, I mean, like uh, awarded, I mean, a fast company uh, of 2021. Next slide, I mean. So, and I mean, in terms of, I mean, overview, we have, I mean, different like uh, uh, department. One is the building science, but we have even, I mean, architecture, interior design, visual design and construction, but we have, I mean, lots of overlap and science and technology, because basically mostly we are focused, I mean, our clients are, I mean, big pharma or, I mean, research or startup, I mean, in uh, the um, uh, pharmaceutical industry, and we are getting them um, better in terms of expertise, building our expertise um, on that in that field. So next slide, I mean, so yeah, this is our, uh, I mean, our office, our people, we are like uh, now 110 uh, people, um, we grow 50%. Um, from, I mean, 2019, um, we uh, expand our expertise even in the academia. We have, I mean, uh, a new uh, project on incoming that are uh, basically uh, for from university in uh, here in Boston. Next slide, I mean. And uh, our, I mean, our uh, core business is, our expertise is uh, focused on innovative design process through the wheelchair design extraction 
and scheduling cost savings and building signs for uh, proven results in terms of uh, decarbonization and energy saving. Next slide. So as you can see here in this slide, I mean, we always partner with the clients or CM. We have, I mean, a well-established, I mean, approach for public, I mean, entitlements and public approvals, especially, I mean, here in Boston and Somerville and Cambridge is getting really stringent in terms of energy savings or carbon reduction. So our design is really entitled and is really, I mean, customized in order to uh, streamline the process and help our clients to go to the private approval to have, I mean, the right uh, um, design approach in terms of decarbonization. Uh, we had, I mean, two passive house building. One is uh, William College and one is uh, Widom College. And uh, we are, I mean, uh, designing a net zero lab build, life science building. We are, I mean, in the process in the conceptual phase of designing a net zero um, life science building. So. In terms of uh, we are hiring, uh, at, I mean, uh, in the building size department for two positions as an energy modeler and um, uh, lead, I mean, uh, uh, consultant because we are growing in terms of service for uh, lead documentation and uh, lead certification. Um, we are aiming even for the passive house, I mean, be able to uh, 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 drive all the passive house certification now. So, if you are interested in uh, some, I mean, uh, job opportunities, just I mean, I'm gonna leave my uh, email in the in the in the chat, or uh, you can reach out on LinkedIn or in the breakout room. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks, Giuseppe. Uh, in the home stretch here, next is uh, Atelier Ten, Shanta. Thank you, Chris. Hi, I'm Shanta Tucker from Atelier 10. I'm a director in the New York office. I'm also past president of Abipsa USA. Thank you to the Boston chapter for hosting this. Atelier 10 is a sustainability consulting firm and we are hiring and we're looking for graduates or also experience building performance simulation practitioners. Um, we started in London in 1990 and our offices in the US have been open uh, for almost 20 years, you can go to the next page. Um, we have the both an East Coast presence and a West Coast. And uh, specific to building performance simulation, we're looking for folks to join who have a very strong interest and are curious about building energy modeling, daylight simulation, and understanding interpreting wellness in projects. It's a, you can go to the next slide, please. It's a very collaborative environment here at A10. For example, we worked on over 100 energy models last year. And so folks joining our team will really be able to see an immense variety of project types with a very experienced team to train and engage folks. We work along all phases of building projects in the built environment. And last but not least, uh, we are a just company, which is a, uh, a label provided by the ILFI. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Um, you Thank can go you. to our website to look for um, the, on the careers page. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks. And Liz, you're up. Hey, Ed. All right. Thanks, Chris. Um, so my name is Liz Galloway. I'm with the Building Science Group at Payette. Um, we are a design firm that's committed to high performance buildings. Uh, we have a single office location in Boston with about 170 people. Uh, we're all located on one floor um, to promote kind of collaboration, uh, integration with the project teams. Um, our building science group um, is a little bit unique and um, we support our projects through um, simulation and analysis as well as um, ongoing research that directly informs design decisions. Um, our focus on this kind of fusion of design and performance um, was integral to us being awarded the uh, firm of the year uh, from the EIA in 2019, as well as um, the, being recognized, having six of our projects recognized by the AIA Code Top 10. Our um, two major typologies are healthcare and, and academic science buildings. We also do some, um, some spec lab buildings as well. Um, and these are some of the most energy intensive buildings. So we're really committed to kind of driving down that energy use. Next. And this is just a little a little teaser. So this is looking at um, the EUI of our um, lab projects over the last 15 years or so. 
And there's kind of two key inflection points. And one of them was can we um, shifted our approach to lab design. And then the second one is when we signed the 2030 commitment and formed the building science group and really started leveraging you know, simulation and analysis to inform design decisions. And we're primarily using um, ladybug tools, but we also do some CFD analysis and, we, and therm modeling. Um, so if you're interested in joining our building science group and helping us to continue this uh, downward trend, um, I'll put my email in the chat, or you're also uh, welcome to uh, take a look at our website. Uh, the building science position is posted there as well. Thanks. Thank you. And I think that leaves with the presentations me. Uh, and I'm going to talk for a second about my firm, The Green Engineer. Uh, we're a sustainable design consulting firm located in Concord, Massachusetts, the birthplace of America's environmental movement. We are uh, right now 25 people. And we work on all sorts of different building types, everything from uh, schools to uh, large lab buildings. We do full service sustainability consulting, including uh, LEED and, and WELL. Uh, and of course, a lot around the building simulation world. So energy modeling with a variety of tools, uh, passive house work. Uh, we also do life cycle assessment, again, using a variety of tools and daylight modeling. Uh, and we've got a, a very uh, interesting and diverse team that comes together and works in a, a collaborative, uh, friendly way. And I think that's part of what's what's interesting about our firm is not just uh, the kind of work we do, but the quality of life and experience we create for our staff and employees. Uh, we are uh, committed to being a fully hybrid model uh, of, of project work at this point. So we've got people that are uh, mostly remote. We actually have some people that are completely remote. One of our staff, uh, telecommutes from uh, Montana regularly. I believe Anthony's on the call today. And uh, we uh, take the sustainability piece very uh, sincerely and as part of our business model. So we're employee owned, we're uh, uh, set up as a Massachusetts benefit corporation, we're B Corp certified, and we have also achieved a just label. And we've been recognized continuously since 2016 as one of the B Corps best for the world. And so what does that mean? Well, you can look up our actual score on our website or at B Corp and see all of the elements that go into that. But it says that we are not only uh, serious about our work uh, protecting the environment, but also the triple bottom line sustainability, including what's, what that's like for our community and our other, uh, you know, our staff and everyone else. And you can apply uh, for positions at careersatgreenengineer.com. We're looking for new entry level uh, people, but also uh, mid-career professionals in both the modeling side and also more general sustainability consulting. Okay. With that, I know there are a number of other firms who signed up who didn't uh, send in any slides. So I'll, I'll uh, go down the list here on the right. And if anybody wants to jump up, um, anybody from AHA here? Okay, uh, Patrick from Vanderweil, I think you're next, and if you want to take a minute or two. Sure. Uh, hi, everyone. Patrick Murphy, Director of Sustainable Design at Vanderweil Engineers. Um, we are a full-service MEP firm based in Boston, about 450 people, and yet still family-owned. I still work with the Vanderweil family every day. Um, I actually came from our Washington, D.C. office. We're really based up and down the East Coast. And uh, we take sustainability uh, you know, very seriously. We are one of the first engineering firms to commit to the AIA 2030 uh, commitment. We are also one of the initial signatories to the MEP 2040 uh, commitment. And we provide within my team, our building performance group, uh, both the building performance modeling to inform design and also sustainability consulting uh, for projects. We get to work across all of our market sectors. Um, we were working on everything from lab projects to data centers to higher ed to office buildings, government projects, and uh, really starting to, to see tremendous results with our, our work, re reducing energy consumption, reducing emissions, and we're able to influence, we're a small team, but we're able to influence all of the projects across a large company. And we're looking to bring on more people for our team. And you can uh, connect with us at careers at and I'll put it in the chat. Great, okay, next up I see Nick from Arup is here. Nick, the floor is yours. Awesome, thank you. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nick. 
Uh, I help lead experienced recruitment for Arup um, across our Americas region. Uh, Arup Weary are a 16,000 person global firm. Um, we're a privately held organization and we're set up as a trust. So we have a pretty unique setup. Um, we are very focused on sustainability and we've aligned ourselves with the UN's SDGs. Um, we do everything from green building design, um, looking at risk and resilience for cities due to rising sea levels and a wide range of other things. But um, we have lots of information on our website and we are hiring in all of our offices. So I did post in the chat our general careers page as well as a specific search for sustainability. So feel free to connect with me. I'd be happy to chat more about the company and our opportunities as we're looking for sustainability professionals at all levels. Okay. Uh, next, I, I do see that uh, I didn't, I thought I had them on the list and they seem to have disappeared when I made the list. AKF, uh, Rosie, do you wanna uh, speak for a minute? Oh, thanks, thanks, Chris. Uh, yeah, so sorry that I, I didn't get you the slides that you requested. Um, I'll give a quick introduction. Uh, so AKF is an MEP consulting firm. We have offices throughout the East Coast. Um, Boston is our second largest office. Uh, and the sectors we work in are healthcare, uh, commercial buildings of all kinds, higher education um, and life sciences. Um, we also have integrated services, including the energy and performance team, uh, which I am part of, and we focus on, on decarbonization solutions, um, energy modeling, and any kind of energy consulting, um, keeping track of all the latest uh, really stringent energy code requirements in Boston, Massachusetts for our clients, um, and we work closely with the commissioning team for uh, large energy auditing and, and retro commissioning projects. Um, one cool thing about AKF is that um, we have people on our team developing some in-house software tools, such as the uh, Birdo 2.0 calculator, which allows you to look up any existing building in Boston and see how it's doing compared to those targets. So that's um, helpful for us in communicating with our clients uh, regarding meeting their decarbonization goals. Um, right now we have a mid-career position open and we expect to have an entry level one um, at some point in the near future, though not quite yet. So I'm excited to be here and speak with people. Um, I'm going to put um, the website of the group that I'm in, Energy Performance, um, in the chat and the email of our HR person who would be good to reach out to with interest. Okay, thank you, Rosie. And going down our list thank here, I, I don't think I see anybody from Thornton Tomasetti or SMMA here. Uh, speak up if I missed you. Uh, Eco Matrix, RT, I see you. Yes, please. Uh, that's what I messaged you that it was a mistake while registration. Uh, I okay, so you're you're here to talk uh, to other firms. You're not here to recruit for Ecomatrix. Right. Okay, we'll skip ahead to Bureau Happel then. I do see uh, Kristen is here. Oh, are you able to hear me now? We hear you now. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, so hi everyone, I'm Kristen Brzezowski. I'm here from Borough Hopold. I am on the US sustainability team um, based in the Boston office, which is an office actually of 50 um, now, but the US region is up to about um, 400 as a MEP structural facades, lighting, um, fully integrated design uh, engineering firm. So from the sustainability team, we are US based. So we have um, talent all across the US. Um, most engineers are uh, office based, but we do have some people who have um, fully adopted the hybrid and or fully remote role. So I am definitely on the hybrid side based out of the Boston office, um, leading a team of four um, in, for sustainability. Um, the work we do is uh, definitely 50-50 in terms of uh, building performance simulation based, uh, running energy models and supporting our mechanical engineers, um, as well as uh, sustainability consulting, uh, approaching uh, our clients' decarbonization goals, understanding how they perform against the local requirements, um, as well as um, helping the other teammates across the US kind of um, get their 
carbon goals up to the standards of Massachusetts. Uh, uh, we've got some uh, competing interests uh, that we're working with um, all across the US. So it's pretty fun to have all the different perspectives from across um, the climate and um, different locations. Um, it will post the, uh, the specific position that we have online that is for an energy modeler, um, but our careers page is always uh, evolving. So feel free to always take a look if you have that. Okay, we're, we're almost done here. Uh I don't see anyone from Salas O'Brien. So next would be uh, Cartman. Christina is here from Cartman Consulting. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, my name is Christina LaPearl and I'm with Cartman Consulting where I am a senior energy engineer. Um, we're an energy fit efficiency and energy modeling consulting firm, kind of similar to everyone else here on this call. Um, we're a woman-owned business that was founded in 2005. Um, we're a small company, um, and, and similar to, to everyone else, we perform energy studies involving energy simulation uh, to optimize the performance of both new and existing buildings. Um, we, some of the unique things that we do at Cartman is we develop and deliver energy modeling and energy code training. Uh, for beginners, intermediate, and advanced level modelers. Um, so if you're interested in delivering training, um, that's something unique, I think, that, that we offer. Um, we're involved with the design and provide te technical support for um, many state and national uh, green and net zero programs, such as like the New Jersey pay for performance program. So we were involved in the design and provide um, technical support for that program. Um, we conduct energy modeling submittal reviews for above code programs, including the EPA Energy Star Multifamily High Rise and New Construction Program, New Jersey Pay for Performance, Energize Connecticut. So, so we're, we're on the review side of energy modeling and we also perform energy modeling. We're also involved in energy code development, so we're on the we're on the team involved with developing uh, New York Stretch Energy 2023 and also ASHRAE 90.1. And lastly, another unique act, um, aspect of Cartman Consulting is that we do a lot of research in support of energy code development and different rating system development um, focused on energy modeling. Uh, so if you're interested, we, um, like I said, we're a small company, we're entirely remote. We are very open to individuals who are, who are interested in this field. And so um, mid-level, beginners, it doesn't matter, uh, we'd love to talk to you. And you can, um, reach out, you can reach out to us via the website, which is uh, just Google Cartman Consulting, thanks. Okay, great. Uh, and the next, Mike Andelman, uh, appreciate your patience. Thanks, Chris. Sorry, just took a minute to get that out of mute. Um, so I'm with Mike Andelman with Andelman Lelick Engineering, one of the principals. The other principal is Magda Lelick, who's also the president of the company. The company was established in 1998, and it's currently a certified, currently certified as a women-owned business. The company specializes in energy consulting, energy modeling. We are a uh, prefer, one of the preferred vendors for the two utility companies in Massachusetts, Eversource and National Grid. So about half of our work is with those um, utilities in terms of supporting the utility incentive program, doing energy modeling for both new construction projects and also retrofit projects. And the types of buildings we, um, we do uh, modeling for is everything from K to 12 schools, universities, public buildings, hospitals, offices, lab buildings, and high-rise residential. The, <clears throat> excuse me, the, um, everybody on board, on, on the uh, Andelman Lock Engineering does energy modeling. We have six engineers currently right now, so it is a small firm, and uh, we're looking to grow. Once again, we've, we've always been between 10 and six, let's say. Uh, so we're, we can take, take one or two new hires on, uh, people either with right out of school or, or with some experience. Uh, anybody who's really interested in um, this type of work, the energy modeling, 
would be uh, an ideal candidate. Uh, personally, I have over 40 years experience with energy modeling. And yes, that was before personal computers. Uh, so it was a little difficult way back when. And Magda has over 25 years of energy modeling experience. And I'll leave my, uh, you can contact me directly, mike at andelmanloic.com. And I'll leave my, uh, my address, uh, email address on the chat. Okay, thanks, Mike. And I think that's all of the employers. Did I miss anyone who's on? Um, so if, if nothing else today, hopefully the employees. So first of all, I, I think that's just amazing to hear from everybody. And you realize what a community we have. And you know, so many of us know each other and have worked together on various ways. Uh, and, and so we should figure out other ways to connect and learn from each other. Um, and I'm, I'm a little worried, frankly, that we've got more of us than we do of the people we're trying to recruit here. Um, so I, I appreciate everybody's patience as we, we try to make this work and hopefully this is gonna be valuable to you. If nothing else, the recording of this session up to now will live on on the internet and uh, people will, will hopefully discover it and, uh, and search out your firm based on the descriptions that you gave. Shide, um, are we ready to, to try the breakout rooms now? And how have we I'm, set this up? Yes, I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, first of all, I wanted to ask Andrew Jarrell, are you with the Green Engineer? Yes. Okay. So I'm trying to uh, so, make one room for each um, firm. And then I would ask the participants to select their rooms, basically. Uh, so let me see. I have 21 rooms. I think uh, we have 21. A lot of us are going to be alone in our rooms, I'm afraid. <laughs> but those, those of you who have come here are looking for a job, you're in the right place. You've got a lot of choices. So, okay, so, so gonna... you can, you, the, the way it works, right, you can decide to leave a room and then we can put you in a new room. Uh, yes. Okay. So, I think that Sorry, Shida, go ahead. No problem. The employers can go to the breakout room and then, yeah, I can assign the employee to those rooms. Okay, are you sending people there now? Yes, I think they are like joining their rooms. Okay, I'm seeing the numbers drop here on the screen. So I'm just yes. curious about that. But people were bailing out because they didn't want to talk to anyone. We should probably stop recording now, Tim. Okay, well, welcome back. So we're at the end of our time. And I just, again, want to thank everybody for their participation today and remind you that we have other events coming up uh, and hopefully uh, you found some, some use and value in this. We're interested in your feedback and your participation for planning for future events as well. Shida, anything that you want to add? Uh, also, we are going to send you uh, the resume or like CVs and portfolios of the people who already signed up for this event. By the end yeah, of we the week, you have that. We do have all the all the people who signed up, even probably some people who didn't actually come today have attached their resumes. So those will get forwarded to all the people who registered as employers. Um, and uh, at some point in the near future, this recording will be somewhere on the web uh, and we will uh, send you a link to where that is as well. Uh, so you can follow up and um, we really appreciate everybody's participation. Uh, Giuseppe or Eric, much. anything you wanna add? I just want to say thank you so much for all. I mean, the firm that participated. Uh, I, I mean, well, I mean, the timing it was it was not the, the perfect timing. So next time in time, we're gonna try to schedule. I mean, a better time. But thank you so much for uh, participating. Yeah, we, we need to do this February, March, not not the end of right. May. I think is the trick. Exactly. Yeah. Um. I also just want to say thank you to all the participants for uh, participating and being accommodating. Uh, um, being able to take time off from your busy days to attend and make this possible. All right. So have a good rest of your afternoon. See you all next time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Everyone. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.